Hi, everybody. It's Carla with Crafting with Carla. <laughs> welcome back or welcome to the show. Okay, I have this Let's Resin product I had never heard of until yesterday. I was watching, I'm giving the shout out here now, Resin Me Up had this product. And so I got on Amazon because I was like, whoa, this might be something I'm looking for. I don't know if this is like something the OG resiners know about or if this is brand new. I don't know. I couldn't find any other videos on YouTube about it at all. Um, I tried looking on resin, you know, let's resin. I, I, I tried to figure it out. So I just went ahead and got some. Um, Amazon, it's like a 20, oh, a little over $20. So I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to open it and I'm going to play with it and you can watch me play and see what I'm trying to figure out because there's things I want to figure out. Um, they show that you can paint on glass, that you can uh, make snow with it, um, that you can uh, make lines with it because I've been looking for something to make stained glass looking resin. So if this is something that I can make the lines for of the stained glass and not have to buy a, the Peebo paint, um, I'm going to be really happy because that Peebo paint's like $8 for a little tube. And this is like 20, uh, 20 ish, 21, something like that for uh, 24 ounces. So here we go. So yeah, resin me up. I have to make sure that I mention her because even though um just because i think that it doesn't hurt if you see somebody doing something to say you know what i saw it there so i'm gonna do it and um she doesn't own it or nothing but i enjoyed watching what she was trying to do so here we go i'm gonna open this up i know that this comes with stuff because i ordered it oh holy moly okay I know that this, because I've been trying to figure out about this, but I know it's a two-part resin, and it's a two-to-one. Two parts of A to one part of B. Oopsies. Move over. Why is my scale on? Turn off. Okay. So let me put this little tree here, because it's trying to roll away. It's good light here. Okay. What's in here? Oh. Oh, nice. Oh, lovely. <laughs> I love that. There's little screw tops for these bottles. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Because I know everybody knows that when you pour your resin, it's like you got to have something to wipe because it gets all, all over everything. So, yep. Hand-painted epoxy resin. That's what this is called. Got a whole bunch of gloves. One, two, three, four. Four gloves. A pair of scissors. Yeah. Uh -huh nice okay <laughs> oh can you see i don't know oh you know what let me um oh, watch sickles <laughs> let me make sure that uh i had the i had the camera like kind of close in from when i was taking the pictures oh i guess this is so you have something nice and sharp to be able to cut off the little tip of the piping bag and they give you piping bags I don't know how many are in there. Looks like eight, ten, something like that. I have a whole bunch though. I got my Timu. And what else? Oh. <laughs> These adorable little cups and two measuring cups. That's nice. <sighs> Those are nice. They're a good size. Um, let me put the box down now. Make sure in case you want to see it again hand-painted epoxy resin. Okay, instructions, mic powders from Let's Resin. Um, you can make candy apples, popsicle stick. And, of course I love my, I love the popsicle sticks. And basic colors of Let's Resin. Now I looked at the instructions already. It said you can use mica powders and resin dye but you have to be very sparing it doesn't say anything about alcohol inks nothing like that so um and and, and use the color sparingly i heard a couple times um 
it has, this is the important stuff. I'm not going to go through everything. Besides use your PPE, make sure your eye, you know, you, you cover yourself up. Um, I probably won't do it right now. I might. You know what? I think I might because my windows are shut. So I'll probably put on my face mask. I hate doing that. But I, I do do it. I do do. I do do it. <laughs> okay, so the most important thing to me is working time. So I don't end up with a clump of mudge. Nothing. Mudgeness. So 30 minutes working time. Curing time. Full cure. 24 hours. Setting time. It sets in three hours. Uh, the hardness is ADD. And the working temperatures are 75 to 85. <laughs> so hopefully this is going to work right now. I might have to wait until the summer. And it just says inaccurate. Oh, and it's a by, by weight. It must be weighed on a scale. So what I think I'm going to do is the first time that I do it, I'm going to put A and B in separate cups by weight, mark where that's at. And then if I don't, if my scale batteries are dead or I'm just too lazy to go find the batteries, then I'll still be able to pour it. Little bits, not lots. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, well ventilated area. Don't get it in your eyes. Don't get it on your skin. Use alcohol, hand sanitizer. And then if you get it on your skin, wipe it off with alcohol or hand sanitizer, then wash it with soapy water. Uh, yeah. And uh, the uncured products can cause skin irritation, just like um, all the resin products. I'm trying to think. I was going to say, oh, like UV, that kind of thing. You know how you get on your skin, your skin gets kind of sore. Yep, so then this is just the basic things. That, uh, what is it suitable for? Uh, making various fluids and lines and perform fine painting on various materials, such as glass, ceramic, metal, plastic, etc., etc., etc. It's very high viscosity. 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 I'll name my grandchild. Ask him to name my, I want my grandchild to be named Viscosity. <laughs> Make an ugly face when you say that word. It's pretty hard not to. Viscosity? Doesn't work. <laughs> Hi, Viscosity. Okay. Fa -la 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 -la. Not easy to flow. Lines extruded from the piping bag are basically set in three to four hours. Okay. I don't think I need to read. Anything else from that? I have lots of ideas. I have um, snow, snow. I have this, I have my little uh, house that has the little, you know, it needs it needs some snow on the roof and also to cover up where the, <laughs> where the measurements didn't work right there. And I also wanna try um, uh, to use it as to make some lines and see about like, will I be able to use this for a stained glass? And um, what else? And I was gonna try it on just some plain, like where's my silicone mats? Or even just on this to see if I could pipe it and then be able to remove it in one piece after it's cured. And then that would be like so many things. The painting, fine painting is what I'm thrilled about because if I can paint, um, use it like paint instead of like when I put the resin and the dye and then I paint it and I pour it, you know, I, I keep it in little areas. Oh, you'll see. You'll see. Oh, okay, dokey. All right. So I'm going to um, move this stuff out of the way. And then my cute little dithers. I've got my scale here. This will just start with one thing at a time. And then I may end up... Um, chopping this video up if something is like really stupid I might show you but not like go through the whole process and then go like ow like what happens I don't know we'll see we'll see I'm already at 10 minutes and we haven't even started yet but I have introduced the product oh and it's going to try to make some snow on my little tree here definitely need gloves I've got my little bags here I watched a little video that they had on uh where did I see that on Let's Resin? They just had a little video and it wasn't that long that you had to mix it up. But we'll see. 
I think they said like 45 seconds and then another 45 seconds after you add the powder or the resin dye. We're going to try both the powder and also resin dye. Put you on pause for a second. I got to grab the resin dye. Hello, come on. Pop, pop, pop. Stop. Boop. Nope. No boop. Boop. Okay. Uh, I opened up windows. I have cross ventilation. I still would suggest please don't do anything to cause yourself any kind of illnesses. Um, please just use your PPE unless you have a well ventilated area. You probably can hear the traffic now, so that's like a. I don't know what to say. Okay, I'm going to start this. I am going to do. Okay, I have it on milliliters just because the milliliters are what are listed on this. I was kind of curious too if it's going to match. And I'm going to do 40. I'm going to do 60 milliliters, I think. Is this open? I hope so. Let's see. Is it? Yep. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. I'm sure that's a wonderful um, thing, but I'm going to use my, uh, here we go, here we go, let's just do it with this, it's very thick, whoa, so I'm going to put in, um, just to start, 20 milliliters of a, and I'm going to do 10 of B. I bet this is a lot less thick. Yeah. Plus also the temperature. I think it's probably about 65 or 68 in here, which to me is pretty comfortable. But resin likes it warm. Come on, let's go faster, faster, faster. Faster, please go faster. <sighs> like a sloth. Drip drop. Okay. This is good for little tiny amounts for sure. Two more milliliters, please. So, there we go. So, tin of B and... 20 of A, and you go bye-bye, go off, okay, put you down there, use one of these lovely little sticks, it's very thick, very, very thick, I'm going to check my brightness on my, my screen, oops, i got to do it with my fingers, uh. <laughs> You know why it gets turned down all the time? Because I have two laptops I use. The one I'm on right now filming on is newer, but the, the keyboard's crazy. Um, every time I hit the letter A, it gives me a complete conglomerate of weird letters. It's just terrible trying to type anything. Um, so I film on it. And then I use my um, other laptop to to um and i added on this one too but then i used my other one to like upload and do descriptions and stuff <laughs> what am i talking about <laughs> who cares <laughs> why did I, I don't even know never mind <laughs> i don't know oh my goodness what's that <laughs> I don't even know what was I talking about. Oh, the screen! <laughs> I'm like I'm like I feel like I'm in the twilight zone. What the heck? <laughs> the volume keys on my older laptop are exactly where the screen light and dark on this laptop where they are 
It's exactly the opposite. <laughs> so sometimes when I'm on this one, if I'm trying to turn up the volume, like if I'm editing, I start hitting the, the light. Screen brightness. Yeah. Good God almighty, Carla. <laughs> I'm like, what was I talking about? <laughs> Felt like I was taken over by aliens. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm just going to do one color at a time. I'm going to do white. So I am going to use some Let's Resin Mica Powder because I want to try the snow. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> sorry. I'm not sorry. It's just silly. It was just like, I absolutely 1000% was like, wait, what? What are you talking about the computer for? <laughs> <laughs> sorry I'm not sorry I gotta stop saying sorry somebody go boom out there I'm gonna save a little bit of this clear I want to see how it dries um, so I'm just gonna save a little bit of this it's very interesting it's like um, oh I don't know what is this like it's very light see this You can't really see how it's dropping and like slow. It's uh, kind of cool. Too bad it's toxic. <laughs> It'd be fun to play in. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay, I'm going to take some white, put some white in here. I got a scoop. I got ooh, a little bit more than a scoop. Okay, so I'm going to put a scoop in here because I want the snow to be white, white. And I'm going to stir that in really well. Oh, it takes color really nice. Really nice. Okay. Oh, wow. See? It takes color really well. This is like... It's not stringy like resin that's just right to the point where it's going to cure, but it's kind of that thickness, but it doesn't have that string like it's going to, you know, be really bad. Really, really, really bad. It's getting, ready, it's getting ready to blow. Okay. Here we go. Use this other little cup for this. This is the easy way to do it. You know what I really love about this, too? I used to decorate cakes and cookies um, and characters. Like I made a ballerina dancing cake once for a friend of mine, for her little girl. And um, I haven't had my piping tools out in a long time. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, if you can use the piping bag and if I could use the piping tools, this opens up a whole new um, world of exploration of what I can do doesn't mean I'm going to be able to do it well. And then it's going to be interesting, too, to see how this hardens. And if I can get it out of this cup, I'm probably going to wash this out. Okay, so I got that in there. Put you there. Get a little bit of uh, alcohol on my fingers. I got my rag right here. Right here. You got my rag. I'm using a rag instead of baby wipes because I need to go buy more. Okay. I, I gained a day. Yeah. Yeah. I thought today was Wednesday. I was 100% sure today was Wednesday. When I woke up, it's Tuesday. This happens to me a lot. It's really bizarre that um, the days I'm just like, I'm, I just, I lose the days. I don't even know how, but this time I gained one. So, woohoo. I was talking to a friend and uh, they said, well, tomorrow's Wednesday. And I go, no, 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 no. Today is Wednesday. And uh, no, 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 it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> All right. There we go. Got it into the tip. I don't want it to come squirting out until I'm ready for it. And what was the first thing I was going to do? How about I, let's see, it shows them on that one thing, doing it where, 
you can uh, it doesn't run off so let's see all right oh okay I think I'm ready look at that I'm gonna leave that there and I'm gonna watch to see if that just keeps dropping down or if it's gonna stay like I put it here's the house so let's see I'm gonna put some in here I guess maybe I could have put more in here for the snow look I'm gonna uh, bring the camera down like this and then go like this <laughs> I think you see all my mess back there all my kitties are hiding um and I gotta be able to see too so let me uh, so I'm gonna see if I can uh, bring it like wait, how would I do that like this like bring it uh icicles down maybe with practice because that top one did it Even just a little bit, I think, is going to make this look better. But I was hoping, oopsies, I was hoping to fill up this area. Why don't I just do that? Fill it up. And I don't have to keep always like, ugh. Oh, I squeezed out too much. You can't see what I'm doing. I bet with practice you could get it where you can like bring it like down. <laughs> it's just dripping on me. That's what gloves are for. I can see right now that yes, you could use this. I'm going to clean up where I've got it all over the place under there. Yeah, you can see for sure you could use this for um, snow. And it is textured. Let me get a Q-tip and wipe some of that off under here where I just want a little bananas. Because I want that little gap to be closed up, but I don't want like... White snow everywhere. Wipe that off. All right, this is good. I am happy. If I wasn't trying to close up that gap, I wouldn't have this mess, but I don't want the gap. Hmm. So let's see. I'm going to take a little paper towel. There, I think you can see a little better there. I'm going to bring you back up, though, in a second. So can you see? It gives it a beautiful look. I'm very excited about this stuff. Oh, my guy. Oh, my K. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, my K. Oh, my gosh. All right. So we know. I know that that would work. I could actually just do the whole roof right now. But I'm not going to because we're on an experimental journey here. You see on this side where I pulled down some of the icicles. I just have to remember my cake decorating stuff. What did I do? How did I do that? Okay, now I wanna know. Of course, I don't wanna use, uh, let me see. I wanted to use black to line. Um, what else was I gonna do? Uh, you never know. You just never know. All right, I am going to now, this stuff is really easy to clean up too, by the way. It's kind of almost frighteningly easy to wipe up. It's like, you know, usually you just have to spray the alcohol ink and... No, see my gloves not even sticking there. It's pretty cool, I like it. What was I gonna do with this? <sighs> okay, so... I want to try two things. I want to try painting with it. I mix up, and I guess I don't need to mix up 
this might be getting um, has it been 40 minutes I might be able to use this why don't I just try it and I'll make up more if I need to so I was gonna just see what would happen if I painted this little butterfly maybe there's a little more in here I can pull out And so, and I did notice too that as the stuff is is uh, starting to get close to the 40 minutes, it was much easier to do the pow, 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 icicles. <laughs> I'll get there eventually. You're in for a bumpy ride if you're here with me. Okay. It says to be sparing, so my favorite word <laughs> actually my favorite word is facade it's a facade I just think that's the coolest word ever Ooh, this is pretty but now we'll have to see if this is going to dry with a white look to it or if it's going to stay like this okay I got these little these little uh, makeup brushes let me see if these are going to work I got them from Amazon because I like that they had the real fine points. But let's see here. Because usually, you know, when you paint with the resin, it just still wants to flow and not stay where you put it. This would be very time consuming, though. I can see with this brush anyway. I might need to be using that rubber thing. It's not going to flow down now. Look at that. It's uh, staying up on top, not running off. Huh. How come I haven't heard about this until yesterday? How come? That's very interesting. Hmm. Very, very interesting. this is not a very good tool to be doing it with but I already started using it yeah, I thought these would be really handy with these because they're very fine point and it's like a very very fine point q-tip and I thought this would be really great for small little details or painting on little tiny eyeballs okay so well wow it's interesting is the one side looks smoother maybe because it has more on it well this is like epoxy resin that you can control <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah wow okay wow possibilities because how many times are we trying to use the you know, um, put put dry powder on to get the colors and and it gets everywhere. And this is just kind of like, you just keep, we're going to see how this dries though. It has a very good strength level. So I'm not worried about it being fragile. Ooh, okay. Wow. All right. This is purple, by the way, even though it looks blue. I'm going to mix up some more. I probably should clean the cup. Let's see. It will be there a little squirt squirt. Do the lines for stained glass. Because now we see that you can paint with it. We see that it could make snow. Can it be used instead of Peebo pins? For, oops. Cha-cha-cha. <laughs> da 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 no ani afi. we need to do the chair button okay so i don't need a lot so maybe um my goodness what are they doing over there maybe i'll just go uh let's see maybe 10 milliliters of this and five of the other 
Why is it not even reg registering one yet? Can't you tell that I'm here? Yeah, there you go. Had this skill for a long time. Okay, there we go. There's 10. Oh, are you guys okay? <laughs> are you all right? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> is everybody okay? Oh, this is so much thinner. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to put five in now. I'm just doing easy math. I know that half a ten is five. That's why I <laughs> Easy math. Easy, easy. Is that? Nope, that's nothing. Okay. All right, for this one, I'm going to do black. So I'm glad they sent me some black. It's very interesting because when before you start stirring it, it's clear. Like, it's the exact opposite of our regular epoxy. Now you can see that it's starting to get cloudy. I want to make sure I mix this up really well. Oh, you know, this is kind of like a soft silicone. Wow. Coolio, coolio. I like this. I think it's going to be a good tool. You know, like, a, what can I use to do that? Oh, hand painted. This one, I think, though, expires in, uh, I think, like August of this year. So I guess it doesn't last that long. It was written on the box. I have to write it on the bottle when, I'm, when we're done here. I'll write it on the bottle so that I know sometimes I have a tendency to like not use everything so that I have some left for later and you know I get a little stingy stingy I'm sure that's good enough use some of the black I just got black Need a spoon. Okay, so this is just 15 milliliters. And I don't know how much I'm going to have to put in here because I want it to be black, black. So. That's good enough. It's kind of like a gray black. That's good enough. Because sometimes that's the way um, stained glass things look. Like gray. I'm sorry, this bag is very loud. Very loud. Trying to get my fingers down in there. This is so thick. And this is why it worked better putting the bag in the glass. But it's so thick it's not going to run in there. Okay. Okay. Here we go. This is real time, folks. I didn't know if you guys would be interested in watching me play or if you'd just rather... Uh, see after I play what works and what I make. But I thought, well, maybe you'd like to see it, like like right now. Like, what is she doing and where did she get that? I am going to put a link below um, for the Amazon. And I'm not going to... Uh, don't... I, I think I've gotten rid of my link for uh, Let's Resin, the discount, because I don't... I'm not at the thousand yet, the thousand subscribers, and so they don't have me as um, like getting a link, uh, a coupon code that works on Amazon. And I saw that since I'm like, it's like a third party that I'm going through for this. When I clicked on their link that they gave me for you guys, 
it's like 10% higher the prices than if you go to their website or you go to Amazon. And I thought that is BS. So I don't want my people, my my subscribers, my members, whatever. I don't want any of you guys paying extra. Um, especially I, I, <laughs> I, oh, I just don't think that's right. A, dis a discount should be a discount on the price everybody else is paying that doesn't have the coupon, right? Right? Yes, right. But that's not Let's Resin. It's that they have a third party that you that anybody can, um, you know, get into. And they sent, like, they did send, oh, I didn't cut it off. They did send me a code before for you guys um, two times, but... I can't get the one code to work at all. So, yeah. Uh, Miss Wanda has a 10% Let's Resin code. I tried to use it, though, when I bought this, and that didn't work. Um, I don't know if it's a new product or what. I don't know what's going on. Uh, what was I to put that there? Okay, yeah, I'm going to wipe that off. What am I doing? All right. I wanted to try see if this will work. And I see this through here, kind of, this might be better. Yes. Okay. I'm going to see if I can do one of these, um, dragonflies. Oh, I got a whole bunch of them, <laughs> but they're all the same, I think. So I put this, oh, where's one that'll fit? This one will fit. Okay. So I'm going to try tracing over this butterfly, and I just stuck this into the snow. Oh no, in the snow. Oh, I just took my hand on the roof. Oh boy. Hariba, 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 Carla. Oops. What are we going to have to do to get the whole dragonfly? Do that. Okay, get that glitter off of there. Come on. Come on. No, nope, come on. Get off of there. Gloves. <laughs> Let's see, how can I get that off? It's on my gloves, so it'll probably fly back in there. Let me take a little piece of masking tape. And let's see, it's got to be like that. I'm going to put a little tape here to kind of hold it in place. Nope, its tail's not in there. Hold on. It's got to be like that. All right. Oops, I don't want that. That might help. All right. Move my little snow adventure. Up here, don't drop on me, please. And move this over a little bit. Oh, the snow is melting. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh no, oh, it's not melting. Let's see if I can do this. There's a little line there. I don't want a fine line. Okay. Boop, boop. So, what do I want to do? I can't see what I'm doing. How come? Well, Oh, because I need it like this. Why oh, that just cleans off so easy. Wow. Okay. That's good. Okay. Gotta get it where I can. Ah, oh, here we go. I hope. Okay. Oh, come on. Sorry guys, if I don't um, talk right now, uh, it's just awkward the way, the position that I'm doing this in. It's very awkward because I I need my um, cake spinner so that I'd be able to you know like move it so I can come back down at the angle I need to. 
Yeah, see, so I gotta turn this. So I need to be able to come come down because you always want to um, like anchor it, squeeze a little, hold it up above the line, and then let it fall down on the line. Oh yeah, now I'm getting back in the swing of it. Okay, so yeah, you anchor it and then you let it fall. I don't know if you guys can see that. I hope so because I can't look up. Because, yeah, you just want to anchor, raise it up to get your string, and then you just let that string fall naturally. But you do have to rotate your piece. You can't, I mean, I can't. I don't know, maybe there's people that can literally do it, but I can't. So, here's, nope. And I got to go this way again. Okay, so put the head on. That's wobbly. That's wonky, wonky, wonky. No good. No good. Well, I am. Um, in love with this. This is the only picture I could find right now. And my printer's not working because earlier today I was looking like, well, what could I, what could I try to, um, uh, yeah, this is very awkward right now. And I can't see what I'm looking at under there. I mean, I can see it, but not, not very well. And this is not exactly right. Well, for first time, this is pretty good. And I guess that... <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to... Um... Let's see. I'm going to give it a little bit more definition on the wings. Yeah, a little bit more. I'm not following the lines now. Right now I'm making this part up. just because I can't see what it's doing under there. I know it's doing stuff, but I don't know what. Does that make sense? <laughs> Does it make sense? Like, I know that there's lines in the leaves. I just, in the leaves, in the wings. I just don't know what they are. I'll just make it up. Those are going that way, so these have to go this way. Oops. Oopsies. All right, and then I'm going to put the little lines down here. I guess I want to make sure that those go down and touch so that when I put the resin in, the colored resin, or I guess you could do the whole thing with this actually. Huh. That's the best thing. I think that the tail goes all the way down there. Okay. Make that up. All right. Well, maybe. If you'd have piping tools, I would suggest those because like this little detail, I would use a real small piping um, thing, but this is not bad at all. Oh, you just barely can see it. Oh, okay. Hold on. Because I did it. Now, all I'm going to do is take off the tape and I'm just going to put some little squiggly lines in there. And I just stuck the tape right in that. Tacos and tortillas. Chocolate. No, I gotta fix it. No, I don't want to. Let's see. Yeah, come on, get up to there. Uh, come on. Be nice, play nice. Okay. All right, now I gotta fix that. Okay. Let me get. Sorry, again, it's hard for me to talk <laughs> while I'm like, don't mess up. <laughs> don't mess it up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Be careful. All right, let me uh, pull 
clean that up. Clean that little thing off. And now I'm going to put the lines like for the uh, stained glass part. Okay. And here we go. Oop. I guess that's just all going to be free form. A little black in there. Okay, it's good enough. It didn't quite go. All right. Wow. So then when this dries, I will, I will, blah, 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 I will add that in. And so, okay, so I'll be back for the next step and we will see how all of this worked out. Um, yeah, I had to cut a lot of stuff, but I'll explain all of that because this is, I'm just a little voiceover here, voiceover Carla, da, da. Okay, we're back, we're back, we're back. And I have lots of good news. <laughs> a little bit like, hmm. <laughs> but I want to show you what happened. Um, okay, and I want to tell you what happened. <clears throat> got a trash truck backing up in case you wonder what that beep, beep, beep is. All right, I'm going to, I'm, shoot, I'm going to pause for a second. Okay, I'm back. I'm so excited about this. I really am. It's totally dry. It's not sticky. Okay. Uh, but like this little house, uh, it's still a little sticky, but I put it on kind of thick, but it's, it's, it's cured. I can't change it, but it's still a little sticky. And, um, oh, I put a little snow down here and here's what I wanted to show you that you can actually uh, it's very easy, especially while it's still a little bit wet, to just go in there and like get off any like overflow or whatever you didn't want there. Okay, so that's good news. Um, whoa, that you can, um, and it's still a little bit sticky, so I probably should have gloves on, but. I should always be wearing gloves. My fingernails are now black, not from beets, but because I was using black paint and um, I tried and tried and tried to clean that black out of my nail before I started this. Uh, I, I I mean, if you guys wanted to see blood, I could probably get it clean. I could not get that off. I could not get it off. <laughs> oh, show you the house. Okay, so you can see I put the little snow up here. Isn't this exciting? And look, well, this one's stuck to the house, but that's okay. Like, look, there's little icicles and yeah, this is, stuff is so exciting. Um, I think I'm going to, I'm going to move this like this so you can see. No, I'm going to, no, shot, shot. This is not, the only thing that's glued onto this little thing right here are the amethyst and now this little bird. Look, the little bird stuck in the snow. Isn't that cute? I'm going to put these all on here and maybe put some more snow on here because this is my squirrel. See my squirrel? So see, it's going to be like that. Isn't that cute? Isn't that exciting to know that you can put the snow on the ground and then put like your little bears and stuff on it and it it's thick. It's not just white. It's thick. You can make it thick. I like thick. <laughs> okay, I am in a very silly mood today. I don't I don't understand it. But who knows? Look how cute this is. This was the little green tree that was kind of boring, you know? It was like really boring and now it's got like some little icicles there. And an icicle there, there. Isn't that cute? Isn't that exciting? Of course, yeah, you know, I'm not the best uh, I gotta get my, I gotta get my piping tips because then I will be yeah yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, see it's damp because it's sticking. It's trying to stay grounded. Okay, put it over here with the kitties. That's not, that's not because it takes up a lot of space. Let's move it over there. Okay, what else do I have to show you? Oh, I poured in, um, after I did this, I had some black left, so I put glitter in it to see what would happen. And I poured this little butterfly. I don't know why you would use this to pour, though. Um, even though I actually kind of like that black butterfly. Pardon me. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I actually do kind of like this black butterfly. Okay. So that's all. I just, uh, it's a matte mold, which really is kind of a dorky thing. Let's see if the glitter works in this. And then it's matte. So it's like, okay, Einstein. <laughs> Take it back a level. Pay attention to what you're doing. Calm down. <laughs> I'm trying to put it back in. <laughs> okay, y'all. All right, so in this one, I'm going to pour some more. Uh, I'm going to pour resin over this. On this one, I'm super excited about how the color is true. It didn't turn like I put the purple in this, and it didn't make it like a light, milky, or opaque purple. It just made it purple. I'm so excited. So it means that it's... Uh, going to dry mostly clear, I guess. I have told you I was going to save some samples to see. <laughs> squirrel. Squirrel, squirrel. Okay, so I'm going to... Oh, and the glass. This this lovely glass that has resin fingerprints all over it. Uh, this worked great. And uh, no, they don't pop off. No, they don't pop off. So if you want to decorate glasses your tumblers, whatever people that do the tumblers, which I think are beautiful, but you're not going to catch me doing them. I can't, I don't, it's too expensive. And I do, I don't know what I would do with them. I'm running out of room here. I'm going to have to have a, a, a de-resining. <laughs> get rid of stuff. I can just see me trying to get rid of stuff. I'd be like this cat, and I'd be like, no, because she likes living with me. She can't go to a stranger's house. <laughs> everything has, everything to me has uh, feelings. All right. I'm going to pause you, and I'm going to use my Let's Resin mixer. I have something else, too, but I was kind of saving that surprise for the next video. Yeah, the next video, I have a the resin fairy, Miss Dawn. Miss Dawn, the resin fairy. <sighs> yeah, I have a surprise to show you, but it, it's, 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 uh, I'll show you in the, I'll show you in the next, in the next video, because the next video will be more appropriate. Okay, so yeah, that's the one thing. This takes quite a while to dry. Uh, this has been, Oh my goodness, uh, 16 hours maybe, 17 hours. And I was really worried about it last night though, because I think at eight o'clock I stopped, one o'clock I checked and it was still soft. It was, I was like, oh, I did something wrong. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Ugh. Cause that was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. I'm talking, I'm talking like I'm crazy. Pausing, I'm pausing. I'm pausing while I'm talking. Talk anyway. Here we go. I'm gonna grab two of these. I'm gonna do the, the dragonfly first, and I'm gonna do purple from May Springs called Violet Crystal. And I'm also gonna use oh, just a little bit of a turquoise blue from May Springs. Look how dirty that package is. All right. <clears throat> I think I need a little gold too because I think that it would be boring if the wings were just one color. Hi everybody. I have put this on 25 times faster because uh, we're at an hour 
well, we were way over an hour. We were like almost two hours. And so I speeded this up. Um, you can still see what I'm doing. I'm just putting in the resin into the holes of the, the you know, <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? Because this took me, even though the Sprite Now is taking about uh, two minutes, in real life this took me 30 minutes to do. I, jeez. <laughs> so, that's why I decided to fast forward. And I wasn't saying anything either. I was just like, ooh, do mumbly, mumbly, mumbly. Okay. I hope I didn't ruin it with the wings, the gold, but maybe, maybe I don't know. Some blue in you, too. Okay, I am going to put you guys on hold. Okay, everybody, we're back. And this is um, cured. I went ahead and I, I opened up the two butterfly molds. I just want to show you the back of this one, though. That is so beautiful. It's it's crazy beautiful. That's the back. <laughs> uh, this is the one that I put the the little bit of purple in, um, painted it on the paint. What's it called? Hand painted epoxy resin, and uh, it came out great. Got a little bit of a wiggle wiggle to it because I forgot again <laughs> that this is a uh mostly matte mold like the inlays are matte and the upper parts are are um shiny oh there goes my microphone one second please one of my clips came undone ah uh, probably because i was playing with it so much okay and it just fell just a little bit it's so bright in here now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's just too bright. And this little thing that just fell, probably fell because it's trying to sit in my spot. Look how pretty that is though, the colors that are in there. When you can see it through, see, like with the light coming through it. Isn't that beautiful? With the light and everything, it's like, what? It's so pretty. So, the paint hand painted epoxy works really good for painting your molds. You're going to get a clear, glassy look. And this one I did, remember, I just wanted to see if it would still keep the um, holograph. Sure did. Because the parts that are black are the parts that are holographic. And let me just tell this little message here. Go away and leave me alone. <laughs> this is like, would you like to continue setting up your computer? I'd like to throw this computer out the window. <sighs> oh, <geez. laughs> roof, roof, Carla. Um, I'm in love with this. Oh, my gosh, I'm in love with it. This side is so cute. It's so cute. It's so glittery. It's so cute. Uh, the colors. <laughs> <laughs> blended when I was picking it up to carry it over to the the heating machine I was holding it sideways because I was looking at something else and then I just went okay just leave it so here we go my first little baby stained glass get it out of the harsh light yeah get it up into this light there you go so it works. Kind of like this side better. And if I hadn't gotten the uh, the resin over the black, this would be my preferred site for sure. But I'm still gonna hang this up in my window, but probably this side up. I love this. It's because it's the shiny side because I put all the glitter in it and the clear that I put on here. So oh yeah, I made these. Uh, you know, I got that new uh, mold for making... Oh, it's got a big old air bubble in it. I hope not. <laughs> I, don't, I don't hope it does. I was thinking, and I and I hope it's just clear. And I'm just not seeing it right. 
I got that big tray mold now, and so I've made some handles just in case. This is a really cool mold. I've used it before. But um, I made really cool handles, and then I thought, oh, man, now I have to drill a hole in them if I want to use them on a cabinet. No, no, thank you. Come on, get out of there. Come on. Come on. You just need a little bit of vitamin and encouragement. Uh-huh. So let's get you a little encouragement here. Come out. There you go. Oh, it's so easy with just a little bit of liquid courage for these guys to get out. There we go. <laughs> little liquid courage, yeah. Okay, let me get a uh, squirt there. squirt right there here we go man it comes out so easy when you break that seal Ooh, need to wipe that off because that's got a lot of alcohol okay so just a little bit of cleanup on this all i have to do a little bit which it's not really it's kind of soft right now to be doing that but i'll just show you these are pretty. These are really pretty. Let's see, how, let's see how you can see these. Yeah, these are really pretty. Really pretty, pretty, pretty. Just got a big one there. Get that later. Chocolate. Pretty good. Over, ow, cha 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 cha. They're really pretty. You can see the different colors in them. I like them. Excuse me. I just poured what was left in this little ball. I'm gonna make another, uh, let's say, hurricane pyramid. <laughs> I'm gonna make another hurricane. <laughs> oh my goodness, I got this right up against the edge and I can't grab it. Not with gloves on. <laughs> Only reason I put my gloves on is because uh, the stuff finished curing in the place cola resin oven and out here there was still some little resin drips and I came over here and I sat down and I was like oh no and I just was telling myself yesterday there is just no reason at all to have resin on your fingers ding dong there's just not so I just made a little planet it's kind of cool I don't know let's see here I'm gonna show I'm going to try to hurry up here. I'll just show you this and then let you go. Because this has been a really long video. Really long. Um, just because it was a very long process. It's kind of cool. It's got all the glitter in it. It kind of looks like looking at space. Oops, I'm, I'm rolling it off the off the thing. I actually like that. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna do something I don't want to do. Okay, so now I'm no, no, yep. Ooh, look at this baseball. Oh, see. <laughs> Why aren't you coming? Focused. See, it's pretty cool. Oh, I guess it wants my hand there. <laughs> I like it. And here's this. Come up and then come down a little bit and then it's supposed to catch it. It's not bad. Or it's when I did and not using piping tips, just using the the come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Well okay, I'm not gonna keep you guys. She says as she goes, oh, I think, is there something sticky on there? Probably. 
I just want you guys to see though for real how pretty this is because I know it looks go up and then come down how come it's not wanting to pick up You see, look real quick before it goes away. It's like a literal butterfly here today and gone tomorrow. Alrighty. I hope that everybody has a great day and I hope you know that I love you and that I want you all to be happy and safe. Take care of yourselves and each other and be kind. Okay? And I'll see you in the next video because this one has been so long. So long. But a lot of stuff to go through with a new product so anyway i love you guys and i'll see you later and y'all take care of yourself okay bye bye boom good okay